Hey everybody, it's about the education. I think you are in a jest. Let's get the meaning of failure. Don't call me a failure. Failure is an event, not a person in fact. F does not mean failure, but it stands for some amazing meaning. It's here. Then the letter F would not stand for failure. It would stand for find another answer. Just always says that you are failing exam because you don't pay much attention in your classroom and how to increase your interest towards the study. Teacher just have to apply a method which is as follow. They say you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. And to that I say no. Firstly, you can put salt in that horse's hay and make him thirsty. If you bring joy in your classroom, you can make any bad student nerdy as he or she discovers the beauty of truly learning. Nowadays, schools are teaching rules learning. Do you want to know how? Let's go. Think about it. The traditional teaching method is foolish. No, it's useless. Multiplied by the square root of stupid. <laughs> what they do is they cram information in your head, force feeding you, and then you throw it up on the test. That's not education. That's bulimia. So I like the educations rather than school. Look, there is a difference between educations and school. School teaches you how to memorize dots. True education should teach you how to connect them. True education teaches you how to catch a fish. School teaches you, yeah, you caught the fish, but you didn't show your work, so it doesn't count. Throw it back. Do you know how children get success in education and life? So, I'm here to throw some tips about it. One of the biggest factors for childhood success, it's not IQ, it's family meals. But why don't they try to know about the children's definitions? Do you know the meaning of children? I don't think so. Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, they do not belong to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts for they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls, for their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm gonna thank you for watching my video. If you are a teacher, principal, parents, and advisor, I suggest all of you to take a small step. I repeat it again, a small step from this video. Then it will lead to drastic change of a student's life. Please subscribe and see you today. Peace.